Welcome to Bluebin OT. In this video, we will take a look on water jet cutting, actually demonstrating it with a Razer desktop like device. So, for starters, you hook it up to your normal water supply and also to your normal drainage, so the water will not cycle, it will actually just be consumed and then disposed right afterwards. To transfer your files, you simply use an SD card and you can actually use exports from your CAD software, so just make sure that it's a 2D drawing that you're exporting and that's basically then the cutting path for your water jet cutter. The cutting itself is not done by water alone, there's actually something added, it's called abrasive, it's a little sand kind of like material, very very small corn size, of course there are different types and manufacturers of abrasive and also depending on the material that you want to cut, you choose a different kind of abrasive. So all those little particles will be added here in this little storage container and then basically help the machine cut through the metal. So once the machine starts up, it's actually making a little nozzle and pressure test in the first place, that's what you can see here. And then once you get into cutting, that's what it looks like. It's actually spraying a lot and then you realized all of a sudden it was getting to a little bubbly like kind of behavior. That's basically while the water jet is trying to penetrate the metal, in this case it's a thin copper layer, only like around two millimeters. It's making those huge spray and afterwards it's just bubbling a bit. During cutting itself, the water will just escape through the little mesh underneath back into the main water storage container and then will be emptied out through the drain. So the cutting itself is pretty unspectacular. You can see the abrasive kind of building up on the surface. That's because not all the abrasive is getting through it and also at the beginning while you're trying to penetrate the metal for the first time, of course the abrasive will just spill out between the cutting head and the sheet metal, in this case the copper. Next up we're trying to cut a thicker aluminum alloy, it's quite a special alloy and what you can see here in the slow-mo very well is the water trying to escape between the cutting head and the actual material that's being cut and as soon as this basically this chit chat is able to penetrate the material for the first time the water jet can basically smooth out into the water container in underneath and you think the machine stopped but it's actually now starting the actual cut. For thicker materials such as steel, glass or stone or even granite you actually really need the abrasive. I want to stress its function a little bit more. You have to imagine those little particles are basically like little bullets that are hitting over and over again the surface and basically biting out little pieces of the metal or of the stone that you're trying to cut and thereby enabling cutting harder materials. The water itself is providing some share of the mass but basically is mainly there to accelerate the abrasive and also acting at the same time as coolant. So after the cut you can see the results right away. You can see the cutting itself is pretty clean but if you look closely you can see a little notch at the beginning and that's basically where the water jet is trying to penetrate at the beginning. But of course this is not inherently a problem with water jet cutting, this depends on the manufacturer of the machine, your settings and also like your experience in operating the machine of course. So that's basically it, water jet cutting in a nutshell. A relatively precise and very versatile cutting process. You can go everywhere from foam until stone and that's kind of the unique thing beside not having a significant or any heat impact at all as you would have it with a laser or plasma cutter. So this is it for this video. Please let us know down in the comments what type of material you want to see us cut with this water jet cutter in the future or in the next video. Until then, stay tuned and see you next time.